Let me get adjusted here. What angle makes me look less like a hippo? <laughs> So in this video, my husband and I are going to be doing a massive bedroom makeover and it's my favorite project that we have done because it's taken my least favorite room in the house to being my very favorite room in the house. If you're new here, welcome! I would love if you would subscribe. I enjoy organizing, home decorating, home and lifestyle tips, and I also do a lot of gift ideas as well. So I'm glad you're here. I hope my little corner of the internet brings a little bit of like cheer to your heart. I make you laugh, inspire you, encourage you in some way. And I also wanted to say that this video is in collaboration with my real life friend Janine over at The Mennonite Mom. I'm sure a lot of you guys already love her channel, follow her and all that, but if you don't, go check her out her channel. It's called The Mennonite Mom. She does a really tremendous job of documenting her life, mom stuff, just everything. She's very talented in a lot of different things and we share a love for travel. We have went on one really, really amazing trip together. We have a lot of fun. She does about 17 minutes from here and like I said, we're real life friends. She's a really talented entrepreneur, mom, person, all those things. Okay, make sure you go over to her channel, send her some love and Let's get started. So for this project, we're gonna have to rewind about a year. It was like during COVID lockdown and we didn't have that much to do at home. We weren't going away much. And so I was like, what better time to do a project? I think all wives were like that. Like, okay, husbands are home. What can we do? Anyway, my, my thing that was like on my list for so many years was our bedroom. And it has just been super fun. Anywho, and also, I wasn't even on YouTube when we started this project. All of the before images and stuff, there might be like really bad quality and stuff because they were taken with my cell phone, maybe some GoPro footage. I wasn't on YouTube. We were just filming for like personal use, just for fun, you know, whatever. And so that's what you're gonna see. And there's also gonna be some like missing pieces and stuff. You're like, okay, how did that happen so fast? We weren't used to vlogging. We just, we were just having fun. But it's definitely gonna give you a glimpse of what it was before and what it is now. And I hope you enjoy it because I, I often find like before and after to be my favorite videos to watch it just makes me happy like I see this this room that isn't, isn't quite so pretty and then you turn it into something that you're like oh I love it I just like those videos so I hope you like this one I gotta get busy <laughs> So when we first got married, I didn't love this bright red shaggy carpet, but it was in pretty good condition and we didn't have a lot of money, so we just couldn't justify the cost of new flooring back then. So we just decided to paint the walls black because I didn't really know what other colors went with red and it was definitely better than that paneling for sure. But I was so excited to finally be able to rip out this carpet and exchange it for flooring. You'll see what we're going to use in a little bit here. But we are using a luxury vinyl plank, I think it's called. It's very easy to install and so far we love how it turned out. Discovered I have a hole back here. It's always cool. <laughs> I was hoping for some money, but I don't see any. So we actually use the same exact paint for every single room in the house. Call me boring, call me boring. I'm definitely boring, but I'm a huge fan of that for one for more than one reason. One, I love white and I love bright and I love um, painting my colors. My I love painting my walls with bright because I don't have I don't have a lot of windows in this house, so I need as much light as I can, and then I'll just throw pops of color here and there. But another reason I do that is because. Then I can just use that same paint, leftover paint or whatever, and I can touch up any room in the house using the leftover paint that I have. So, for example, if the bathroom has a scratch on it or the kitchen, I just go and paint it because that's the same paint I used throughout the whole house. Pretty handy. Rocky way. You can just call me Joanna again. I got the it's newspaper. The oh my word. I wonder if they did that on purpose. What? 1962. The Sentinel. So I loved reading those newspapers. I'm very sentimental like that. And I just think it was, they were so, so, so interesting. And I kind of wanted to put something down as well for future homeowners to find. And so I put some pictures of us and our travels and just wrote the massivest letter to whoever finds it. And I also put in like things like a mask because they were such a novelty back then. And um, COVID news, I think maybe some pictures of like early pandemic days and this and that. So uh, anyway, um, it was super, super fun. And I don't have a video of that, of what I put down, unfortunately. But yeah, I... I thought it was kind of fun. It was kind of sentimental for some reason. I 
I'm happy to be the one running the camera today. It ain't much. <laughs> but it's on its way. Now for the after, which is the fun part. So I'm basically just gonna walk around, show you everything, show you where I got things. So starting with the bed, we got this bed from his parents. It was like an ugly color and we painted it black. It works fine, we did that like six years ago. Um, and it still works great today. It was completely free, so it's kind of a win. We did end up getting a new mattress. We slept on a really terrible free mattress for like six years. And we're finally like, you know what? We're gonna upgrade and get a nice mattress. So we got one from Tough and Needle, highly recommend them very comfortable, very affordable actually. Mattresses are so expensive. So we were so tickled with finding an affordable one. Okay, and I love the duvet cover we chose, or I chose, because it's pretty and there's tassels, you know, whatever. But you can actually take it off and wash it a lot better, better than dealing with like a really bulky like cover or whatever. So I like that. Sheets are from Target. I highly recommend finding sheets with like a high thread count. It is worth it. It is so comfortable and it's, it is an investment, I'm not gonna lie, because um, good quality sheets are kind of expensive. I just have one set of sheets for this bed and so I just, I'm careful with them and I don't know, they're just really, really soft and comfy. Okay, this rug. I love this rug. I think that it goes really good with the colors, my color scheme in here. Um, this is from Rugs USA. I'll have a link down below. I really like it. <laughs> I think that well, actually, I, I kind of got it for my living room, and then I'm like, no, I actually really like it up here. So I ended up using it up here. And if you're anything like me, okay, here's our pictures that we have up. Seriously, just hung these up. If you're anything like me, it's so hard to commit to like printing pictures for your wall. For one thing, photos are a little bit expensive to print, and then you have the frames and everything, and I'm just like, I don't want a lot of clutter on my walls, and I really want to know like I really want it to look nice and everything, so it's so hard for me to like choose pictures to print. But I finally got that done, and I really like it. It's from one of our trips that we took, and so just pictures of me and Troy, and a village in Italy, and a bike. Anyway, so I think it's really pretty. Um, one thing I highly recommend doing is, if I'm out of breath, it's because I'm very heavily pregnant, and I'm always out of breath. Anyway, <laughs> plus I'm excited because this is this is fun. Um, so this fig, this faux fig leaf tree, I'm sure you can tell it's faux. Um, it, it's actually from Wayfair, but we got it at a thrift store. No, I'm sorry, I lied. I got it at a yard sale for like three bucks. And so I'm pretty tickled with it because um, I like it and I'm bad at plants, so faux is the way to go. Um, and, and one thing I just recommend that if, if you're working on a small budget, take your time with decorating a room. This took us well over a year and it's because I didn't want to spend like a ton of money getting every single thing brand new. So if you're patient, you can look and find things like this chair was from Facebook Market, this was from Facebook Market, this little poof. Um, and so if you're if you're patient, you can find things so much cheaper instead of having everything brand new, perfect, but all at once. Like if you're just a little bit patient and just look around and stuff, you can find things a whole lot cheaper. Okay, so this you know, blanket, throw, whatever. It's actually a piece of fabric from Walmart, um, their fabric section. They have some, like the fabric remnants or whatever. This was like maybe two bucks. It's really soft, it's pretty. And then this pillow cover is from Ikea. They have some really affordable pillow covers. Um, I wonder if they still have this one. It's like a velvet, um, I really like it. Anyway, really affordable way to just switch up your decorations in your room, any room, any room in the house really. And these curtains, I, whoa. My lighting is crazy. These curtains, I am not a cur curtain person. Honestly, I um, this is like the only room in my house I have curtains because I love light and I don't have a lot of windows. And so I feel like, oh, I don't like anything that blocks the light. But we need a little bit of something for, you know, some privacy. And um, also, I was really tickled with them because that means I didn't have to clean the windows to film this for you guys. <laughs> Anyways, okay. I think I forgot to mention that this pillow here is from Cocalico Creek. I've had it for a while and I think it's so pretty and it kind of matches like the tassels on the edge of the bed, um, down here, a little different color. And I often throw, have like a throw or something on the bed just to kind of give it like this cozier feel, I guess. You know what I'm saying? 
So we just share a dresser now. We did we realized that um, some of my dresser drawers were kind of empty anyway, and his were too. So it told we totally have enough room if we share a dresser. Um, I have just this little thing with jiggies on the dresser. I kind of like things pretty empty. This mirror I got from hi there, hello. This mirror I got from um, TJ Maxx. I think I picked up a TJ Maxx. And yeah, so I think I got this dresser from Wayfair or one of their companies. I can't say I recommend it honestly, in all honesty, because it is not holding up the best. I know I didn't pay like a ton for it, um, but it was like the first new furniture I've ever bought in. And I was kind of sad because it's, it's just, I don't know if the quality, like, see, look at this. It already has like a little crack in it and it's not even a year old. I mean, it's probably eight months old. And it's like, there's a crack there, there's a crack there, scratches. I just don't think it's just totally like for being brand new. I don't know, it's not holding up super well. So don't totally recommend that. But yeah, I think it's cute. I love the style. I just don't, I don't know. I'm just using my yard sale $25 dressers that are made out of real wood and just, <laughs> just do just as good of a job. Okay, so this is Troy's closet. Not much has changed. I think we painted the inside maybe. We are able to have one dresser just by doing simple things like putting his socks in like little totes and his hats. Um, and then also up here, I also have um, like totes for some of his other like random things that he would have stuffed in his dresser. Um, there's like swimming things and then like I have a thing, um, that's like called man things. It's just like random guy things, you know what I'm saying? So this, this is his closet, I guess. It's not that full. And then moving on in here, this is my closet. Um, I think it would make such a cute little nursery. So, cause it's, it's, it's pretty big, I mean, you know? I mean, it's not pretty big, but for a walk-in closet, I don't really have a whole lot in here. And maybe one day it could be, um, yeah, like a little nursery or something. So this is my stuff there, obviously. I have some baskets up there from Ikea. Um, they're really affordable baskets and I love them. Anyway, so some my dresses in over here and most importantly, my shoes. <laughs> Anyways. So I hope I have a before picture of this closet because this was one hideous little gun closet. Carpeted is really ugly. Um, and so now I just have, it's actually kind of empty, but I have totes for just random things. And it just, like I said, it makes room in my drawers, in my, it makes room in my dresser. So yeah, like I said, I always, I always label my baskets. It's just so easy to be able to put things away. That one's completely empty and I don't know, I just keep my sanity if things are nice and organized. So, there's that. More room for shoes, apparently. <laughs> All right. As we speak, I don't think that this plant looks good here. I think I'm gonna put it over here. If you're anything like me, you move your stuff around <laughs> continually. <laughs> I can never decide where things go. I think that looks nice there. Yeah, it's definitely nicer, because this is gonna empty before. This uh, candle came from Target. I'm sure it's absolutely loaded with toxins. I actually don't know how much of a smell. Probably is though. But it's so pretty because it has like little, I don't know. It's like this bumpy clay candle thing in my jiggies. That's why I bought it. But this little wood thing here is from Great Apple Market. Love Great Apple Market. If you ever have a chance to go there, it's in York. Such a cute little Joanna Gaines store, I'll tell you what. Anyway, so. Love this little spot in the mornings. I can put my feet up, drink my coffee, read my devotions or whatever. Um, it's something I've always wanted to have a chair in my room to do just that. And I love it. I love it here. So, yep. That is the end of the tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know down below. I would love if you would subscribe. And I'm not super consistent on YouTube um, videos as far as like every week or every two weeks. So if you hit the notification button, you will get notified whenever I post a video. And let me know if you want to see more videos like this, like as far as like before and afters. Um, they're my, I think they're my favorite videos to do just because I love, number one, that I'm getting something actually done in the house. And number two, I just love looking at the before and after. And in a lot of actually different areas of life, I love seeing um, restoration. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video, bye.